There. That's it. That's him. What's up, folks? I'm here to give you another video. I'm about to jump into this one. Should be a pretty good one because it's going to be our old friends in Iraq. You know, Iraq sending out feelers that they want us to help them and help with their security. So I might tell this video Iraq. They want us, they don't want us back, but they want us to help them. Now, the Iraqi government, you know, has called upon Washington to help them get their secu security down path. Like there's been more and more violence in Iraq, and uh, excuse me for that. And the Iraqis don't really have a fucking clue as to what they're doing. So they want the U.S. to help up, step up with security measures and the security assistance, so the violence can scale down or the violence can be put at a minimum. Now, the main reason that we withdrew from Iraq, from Iraq, is for Iraqis to take their own security over. We didn't like the, the Iraqis wanted us out. The American people wanted us out. They wanted us out of Iraq, so we said, "Hey, we're going to get out of Iraq." So Iraqis have to stabilize Iraq. What it comes down to is it's all the sectarian, sectarian violence over in Iraq, like the Sunnis and the Shiites. You know, now they just want to, you know, they want intel, they want weapons, they want, they want all the whole nine, but they don't want us over there. They just want our you know our our might and our wills you know they're trying to use syria as a well if they're using syria as a, as a ploy like well iraq can turn into just like syria and that, that expects us to well here's all your military weapons here's all your apache helicopters here's all your rpgs no here's the problem with that you give iraq the weapons like that they're still having sectarian violence so how do you know you ain't giving to the sunnis to go after the Shiites and vice versa. You know, they're talking about, you know, like Iraq is saying, if you don't give us the, the military weapons or the, the help assistance, it might be like, in this, it'll start a domino effect from starting with Syria and Iraq and yada, yada, yada. But here's the problem with that. We gave you assistance before. You didn't want our help. You wanted us out of there. And now you're saying, well, we're gonna be like Syria if you don't help us out. The only reason Syria is having problems is because you guys are letting them fly over, Iran fly over to Syria and arm terrorists, which Israel gets involved. You know, the, the problem is with, with that, now military people or even people in other countries are saying, why should you help Iran when, I, I mean Iraq, I mean when they're allowing Iran to use their airspace to supply Hezbollah in Damascus. Weapons Depot. Like I have a, I think I have a couple of videos of Israel bombing them. Look that up. This is the thing, Iraq. Iraq wants to play both sides against the middle. They want to play us against the Iranians, saying, "Well, hey, look, the Americans, you know, going to step it up if you don't step it up." At the same time, they're telling us, "Well, if you don't, you know, give us what we need, we could fall in the hands of like Syria and Iran, and this be one big other chaos." Well, if you look at the past, that area has always been chaos since Persian times. All we did is we just, just mixed it up and stirred the shit even more. So at the end of the proverbial day, as they say, you don't give them that military, you don't give them the military might, you don't give them the weapons. If you want to give them weapons, give them shit from like fucking 30 years ago. Shit that you're going to you know, throw away anyway, that you're going to like disarm. Charge high price. So that's about it. Peace. There. That's it. That's him.